and some. Maggots. Mara's fear of maggots wasn't just revulsion. It was a visceral terror that consumed her every thought. They haunted her dreams, wriggling their way through her subconscious, turning her slumber into a gallery of horrors. She lived in a well-kept house on the edge of a quiet suburban neighborhood, where the lawns were manicured and the streets whispered of normalcy. Her home was her sanctuary, meticulously cleaned and sealed against the creatures of decay. The locals knew of her peculiarities, some with a smirk, others with a shake of the head. They never understood that her fear was not just disgust, it was an omen that something dreadful was always looming on the horizon. On a particularly sweltering day, the sky, a canvas of blue, began to curdle. Dark clouds swelled, pregnant with an unspeakable menace. Mara watched with a rising unease, a primal warning echoing through her mind. And then, as if the heavens themselves rotted, it began. First, a solitary maggot descended from the sky, landing with a sickening plop on her garden gnome. Mara's heart seized. She slammed her windows shut, her breaths shallow, her hands trembling. But the sky had only started to unleash its abomination. Like a biblical plague, maggots rained down, a deluge of squirming white against the green serenity of suburbia. The streets filled, the grass disappeared, and the beauty of the neighborhood was consumed by the undulating mass of larvae. The community was thrown into chows, people screaming, car alarms blaring, a cacophony of terror. Mara, trapped inside her home, pressed her hands against her ears, trying to drown out the nightmare. She was alone, the maggot rain trapping her, isolating her in a mausoleum of dread. The infestation showed no sign of relenting. The maggots seeped through the crevices of her fortress, her medic no more. They spilled across her floors, her walls, suffocating every surface with their grotesque bodies. As night fell, the neighborhood lay silent, a ghost town smothered by the squirming invaders. Lights flickered behind closed curtains, the residents hiding, waiting for salvation. Mara was cornered in her own home, her sanctuary defiled. She realized with a growing despair that there would be no rescue, no relief. Her fear of maggots had been a premonition, a prophecy of her end. As the larvae crept closer, her screams were swallowed by the walls that once protected her. Her last thoughts were filled with the terror that had plagued her life, now made manifest in a writhing, relentless end. When the maggot rain finally ceased, the suburb was forever changed. Houses stood abandoned, the streets a testament to an inexplicable event. And in one home, the silence told a story of a woman whose fear had been her undoing. A grim narrative that would echo in the empty halls long after the maggots had gone.